This is seriously good stuff. Give myself a star on that one. This is the mediocre poetry at home date night. Now, if poetry isn't your thing, no worries, it's not ours either. So that's why we're going for mediocre tonight. For your date night treat, you want to pick something that you feel like goes with poetry. We have gone with some fancy bread and cheese and some ginger ale. What makes this date night fun is coming up with a bunch of random topics to write poems on. We'll put several in the description below. And so we've got them on individual slips of paper in this bowl. In this bowl, we've got different types of poems, and we'll also list these in the description below. So what we're going to do is pull out a topic for the poem. Favorite pair of pants. Then select the style of poetry you'll be writing. A limerick. And let the mediocre poetry writing begin. Eggnog is simple yet confusing. The seasonal treat each year leaves me musing. Despite my high hopes, I'm constantly losing my regard for this thick mistake that I'm choosing. Rich is a word that fits for you, but not because you're pricey. The coating that lingers on my esophagus is a reminder of the joy you've brought me. Your taste beyond description, like describing the beauty of a da Vinci. There's milk, vanilla, and eggs, of course. Sugar, nutmeg, and something cinnamony. To me, you're often misunderstood by those who judge too quickly. But eggnog, I see you for what you are. Keep spreading your holiday glee. That's what you call mediocre poetry. Now it's time to share your work with the public, or at least a few select that you choose. Either text or post one poem of each of your choosing. Then you're gonna to wanna to ask for a vote on which is the best mediocre poem. While you're waiting for the votes to come in, try one of these ideas. See if you can quote for each other some part of a poem that you learned while you were in school. Or look up famous poems online and read some poems together. Hmm, anyone remember The Raven? <laughs> Can't quote it for you, but I do remember that. I cannot go to school today, said little Peggy Ann McKay. I have the measles and the mumps, a gash, a rash, and purple bumps. How'd I do? Michelle Silverstein, <laughs> classic. All right, the votes are in, and it looks like there aren't very many eggnog lovers in this world. Danielle's Thick Mistake Eggnog Poem was the winner. Congratulations. We hope you enjoy your mediocre poetry night and hope you remember that you don't have to be skilled at this to have a really good time. Sometimes it is fun to just try something new. And we wish you happy dating.